everyone, welcome to this week's Treasures of the Attic. This week I am going to show you a cooking appliance from the early 1900s. This is a Toledo cooker, and as you can see, it was patented in 1907. Uh, when they brought this out on the market, they really tried to promote it as a jack of all trades. You could bake bread in this, you could can your food, you could cook and even smoke meat in this. Um, and so how it would work is, I'm going to open these up for these. It's got two doors. So I'll open it up. And you can see on the inside there are two removable trays. It has a big copper bottom um, that you would fill up with water. And what you would do is you would take these handles and you would place this over a single burner. Uh, and you could put it over any kind of range. Uh, oil, gas, wood, coal. All of that would work with this. Um, but you put it on the burner, the burner would heat the water, the water would boil, produce the steam, and then the steam would cook the food inside uh, using the steam pressure. We have this whistle right here in the back, and there is a pipe that runs down the back of this, and so when the water would start getting low, um, the whistle would blow and let you know that you would need to add more water. If you wanted to smoke meat in this, you would put wet wood chips at the bottom, and you could take this out, and if you can tell there's a little handle, and it would let you dictate um, how much smoke that you wanted escaping um, from the cooker, and they recommend having it on just a little hole open when you're smoking your meat. So they really marketed this as a time saver. Um, they said that you could can your food, and at the same time you're canning your food, you could also cook dinner. So you'd put your jars on the trays, and then you'd put your food on top of the jars. Uh, they also said that you could cook 16 hens within six hours uh, just using this. Um, when I started doing research about this, uh, all these videos wound up coming up online and they were all of men and they were all really excited about having this cooker um, and cooking their meat in it. And I saw one gentleman cooking some hot dogs, there was another gentleman that steamed a whole ham. So even 100 years after this was made, people are still using this. Uh, and cooking and eating the meat from it. When they did first uh, start selling this though, they actually pushed it towards women. Um, women in the early 1900s, they were in charge of the household. And the Toledo cooker really tried to show women like, hey, if you use this, you'll save a lot of time. You'll free up a lot of time for you to do other chores in your house. There was a booklet that came with this um, and it had an excerpt written by a Goldie R. Funk housewife. And it also included in the booklet a picture from her kitchen, supposedly, of all the jars that she was able to make with the cooker. And she says uh, in the booklet, my husband can bring anyone home unexpectedly at any time, and we both know that there's an endless supply to draw on. She also um, said that, I think the average husband would be like mine, glad if his wife would cut the worst work out of housework so she can make home what he hoped it would be, a refuge of quiet and comfort and peace against all the outside world he returns from. She can't when she is cussing mad in a hot kitchen over a burned or undone dab of dinner, but she can when she owns, as I do, the Conservo steam cooker. Uh, there was also another article in the booklet written from another housewife that had the headline, how I take care of a whole hog with my Conservo. Uh, so this really was a jack of all trades and you could use it for lots of things. But that's it for this week's uh, Treasures of the Attic. I hope you all enjoyed it and I'll see you next week. Bye.